subscribe or you'll be visited by the toll troll. I'm a Spurg so I don't go out much and commute to uni, my degree is in the humanities by the way, instead of moving into the city, thus I still have a good deal of the money I get given as a student because I haven't spent it on rent or alcohol, and my hobbies are all relatively cheap. By this time in a few months I might actually have enough to buy about half a hectare of land. I'm quite good with chickens, having kept some on my family's allotment. Is it a good idea to go into chicken farming using my student money? Proza, chicken farming is profitable. My current birds pay for themselves and then some. I ended up making profit by accident because my father bought several times the amount of birds he said he would get when he went to pick them up so I had surplus eggs to sell. 2. It's fun. I really like pulling up clumps of grass and then feeding them to my chickens out of my hand. 3. Owning land is cool. I might be able to build a house slash shack on it one day. This would be way cheaper than a mortgage. 4. Looking after chickens is far less stressful than other student jobs which are mostly service sector like working in a bar or supermarket. Can't think of any cons. I wouldn't even have to pay tax on the land because my country abolished land tax years ago. There's some paperwork involved but I think it would be pretty easy. There's more the more birds you keep. Haha. <laughs> you won't get many replies here because your post is related to actual work and solid money-making plan. Yeah, you obviously aren't going to get rich on half-hectare chicken farming, but who knows where it would lead. By investing your student grant and using it to make more money, you'd be ahead of at least 90-95% to 95 of other students. You'd gain livestock experience and you'd own land, God isn't making anymore. If you wanted to be a Zoomer and or increase income, post about it on YouTube or Insta, wouldn't be the route I'd go down but I'm sure you'd get an audience. It'll probably be a good venture for you and your family Desu. I love city life, and I've always had good job prospects because I studied something useful. Not trying to be mean to you or anything but humanities is probably the worst field to study, for if you want a good paying job, so I wouldn't even consider it, but given your circumstances you could turn it into a good little enterprise. There's always people wanting Lee organic eggs and all that. I also saw some YouTubers doing some kind of rotating coop so their chickens were always in fresh grass. Look it up. Maybe expand into chicken slaughter too and sell the meat of surplus animals. But since it's pretty easy to do once you become profitable, other people will get the genius idea of copying you. So try and differentiate your business with good customer relations and community building. You'll have to work on that more than you will on the chickens, Desu. How are you profiting? Eggs don't sell for much unless you're the only chicken man in town, then townies will pay big for free-range eggs. Even then, is it actually worth it at your scale? Yeah, other than this, Anon, most of the tards on here won't be much help. I'm going to come out of lurk because I also love chickens. You have two roots in my eyes. Turn each chicken into an NFT and let people purchase and trade the chickens or something similar to this. Maybe a chicken food forest park slash attraction slash venue? The input on the chickens during the warm time would be substantially lower, even more than the profit you're already in. You can keep selling eggs, meat, whatever it is you do. Also fed the chickens natural forage while having a botanical style attraction slash petting zoo slash whatever you want to call it. I would probably do some turkeys and peacocks and other poultry as well. Half hectare should be a good V1 for you to figure out what you're doing. Make sure the food forest is perennials. You can root cuttings and sell plants for $40 a pop or whatever your currency is. As with most animal raising related activities, the real problem comes from health laws and how hard it is to keep your animals from getting sick and accidentally breeding a giga virus. Besides, you'd have to compete with the mega Bill Gates chicken farm prices. Even, I have huge respect for anyone who raises animals or grows food. It's an actual useful skill and you're contributing to society. Could go into specialty breeds rather than trying to sell eating eggs. Look into game birds, they aren't as prolific layers, but there's a niche market for them in the States, and the roosters are top-notch at protecting their flocks. Lots of different breeds can go pretty autistic with it. Game birds actually take much longer to grow to maturity than egg or meat birds, about 5 months versus 1.5 years. Its roosters are great but you'd really have to lose about half of your chicks to begin with, since you can only really have one or two roosters in the flock. You can cull them when they're small but then you wouldn't know which are genetically superior. Thus you have to grow them out to a decent size before picking the right ones. I'd say game birds are more suitable to those already running a farm with constant supply of feed and vet. Why not place egg nests around your land and have visitors come in for an Easter egg hunt? Could be a fun activity for family and kids, whilst being able to learn more about growing livestock and self-sustainability. Farming is based bro. You'd do well to plant some fruiting trees as well since chickens wouldn't give them any grief. Look for high-value crops since you don't have much room. Stuff like date palms produce up to $10,000 per tree, but take 7 plus years to start producing and they're labor-intensive, but if you plant them you can decide later if you even want to work them. Good luck making any money much less livable money off of chickens. Made money from Pop Pop's chicken hobby. Yeah, your dad paid all the overhead, dum-dum. Chicken infrastructure is expensive, and it's pretty much linearly expensive, you don't really hit a break point where you get a lot more bang for your buck. Half an acre is way way too small to graze even a small chicken flock, much less enough for chickens to live off of. TLDR, 
Your autistic chicken dream is going to be a money pit that ruins you. T, actual homesteader with a decently large chicken flock, buff Orpingtons, you heck an autist. On a small scale, you make more money selling the chickens. Find some rare breeds and breed them true. Sell the pullets. I keep Sussex chickens now. They go off laying in winter usually. Something to keep in mind. More money woo DLB and land appreciation. But if this is a hobby and supplementary income, then I say go for it. I put an offer in on land when I was 19, and my parents talked me out of it. 200k. Now it's worth 2 to 3 million plus. Good luck, Anon. Chicken Farm Reporting. AMA. I have about 100 layers and process about 200 meat chickens, 30 meat turkeys, and 2 hogs a year. Rabbits are cool too. Brothers Livestock is a living reproducing form of wealth, ancient and symbolic.